हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेर इज़ ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सिंप्लीफिकेशन इन विच द न्यूमरेटर पार्ट इज सेवन इंटू वन फोर्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सेवेंटी वन एंड द डिनोमिनेटर पार्ट इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव नाउ इफ यू ट्राई सॉल्विंग इट द ट्रेडिशनल वे यू विल टेक अ बिट मोर टाइम दैन द स्मार्ट किड अवे वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई हेयर हैव अ लुक Let's first take the numerator part, and as per the rule of board mass, we first need to solve the division part here, in which 144 is being divided by 16. Now, if we know the table of 16, we can immediately divide 144 by 16 nine times. Next, we need to multiply nine by seven. That will give us 63, and this 63 we need to add to 171, and the complete numerator part will be. 171 plus 63, 234. Now, after simplifying the numerator part, we can see that we first need to solve the division part, which is 628 divided by 16. Now, if we divide 628 by 16 in the traditional way, it will become a bit cumbersome. And to make it easier, we can write the equation as 640 minus 12 divided by 16 Now can you observe what we did here The idea here is to split the numerator part in such a way that we at least get some multiple of denominator to make the calculation easier So here 640 is a multiple of 16 and to balance the equation we had to subtract 12 from 640 Now can we solve it in our mind Yes we can 640 divided by 16 it will give us 40 and 12 upon 16 it will become 3 upon 4 and we know that 3 upon 4 in decimal is equal to 0.75 so 40 minus 0.75 we'll get 39.25 now we have got another value in denominator part which is minus 26.25 and we can easily cancel out the decimal part which is 0.25 in both the numbers and 39 minus 26 will give us 13 So the complete denominator part, after simplifying, will give us 13. Now we just need to divide the numerator part, which is 234, by the denominator part, which is 13. And to do that, we can apply the same method we applied before. So we can write the equation as 260, which is a multiple of 13 minus 26 upon 13. And as we can see that. On dividing 260 by 13, we'll get 20, and on dividing 26 by 13, we'll get 2. So the final answer is 18. So friends, always remember: the less you take the help of a pen or paper, the more you will be able to solve a question like this faster. So wasn't it simple?